everyone, I am JC from Craft Life and I'm here today to teach you how to make this scarf using only your fingers and some yarn. And this is the yarn I'm using today. It is medium pour yarn, but you can use whatever yarn you want to use. And I'm going to show you my way of finger knitting and I just wanted to share it with you. And you will also need scissors and a ruler. And with this tutorial, you can make scarves and bracelets. So I'm going to show you some of the differences in the yarns that you can use. So if you use Super Bulky 6 yarn, this is what it will look like. And it is kind of thick. If you use a Bulky 5 yarn, this is what it will look like. It is a little bit thinner. And if you use Medium 4 yarn or just thin yarn, this is what it will look like. I'm wearing a medium four yarn scarf and I'm using it as a decorative scarf. I wrapped it around my neck three times. So please get your supplies and we'll begin. Before we begin, I wanna show you the difference between the double finger knit and the single finger knit. These were made using the exact same yarn which was the Bulky Five. And as you can see, this one is a bit thicker than this one. This one is very thin. And this is the double finger knit, which I'm gonna show you how to do today. But I'm also gonna show you how to do a single finger knit. You can choose which one you wanna do. So if you were doing a single finger knit, you're just going to start by making a slip knot. You're gonna wrap it around your finger, pinch it like this. So now you have created a loop. Then we're gonna take our yarn and we're going to place it inside of the loop and pull that tight. So now we're gonna place this on our finger and I'm gonna leave mine very loose like this and I'm just going to take that extra strand and place it behind my finger. And now we're just going to weave between our fingers but when we are weaving, we want our fingers to be spread apart and you're going to do this extremely loose so we're gonna go back, front, back, front, back, front, back. And now we're gonna wrap around, go back, front, wrap around, back, front. And now I have two loops on each of my fingers. And if you are going to be doing a single finger knit, for the rest of your scarf, you're going to always wanna have two loops. Then you're gonna bring your bottom one over the top, bottom over the top, bottom over the top. But since I'm going to be doing a double finger knit, I'm going to need to have four loops on each of my fingers. So I'm just gonna push these down because these are going to become my bottom row. And now I'm going to make my top row or my top two loops. So I'm gonna wrap it loosely again, in front, behind, in front, and continue this. Once you have woven between your fingers so that you have four loops on each of your fingers, you're gonna take your bottom two loops, bring it over the top and you can bend your finger when you do so. Grab your bottom two, bend your finger, bring them over. Take your bottom two, bend your finger, bring them over and bottom two over. And you wanna keep them extra loose, so we're gonna to continue to do this very loose. So we're gonna add two more to each of our fingers. So front, back, front, back, and continue. So now I have four loops on each of my fingers again. So I'm gonna take my bottom two, bring them over, Bottom two, bend my finger, bring them over. Bottom two, bend my finger, bring them over. Bottom two, over. And to push it down again, we're gonna add two loops to each of our fingers again. Now I have four loops on all of my fingers and I'm gonna bring my bottom two over. Push these down again. So now, as you can see, it starts to come out from behind your fingers like this, and it will start to grow longer when you add more rows to it. 
So I'm going to do another row with you. And I just want to make sure that you are doing this very loose. So make sure you're spreading your fingers out when you are weaving. And then you can push them back together when you are bringing your bottom two over the top. Now you want to push this down again. And you want to continue making your scarf for as long as you want it, but I'm going to make mine so that it wraps around my neck two or three times, and if you want, you can do that too. And you're just going to continue to go back and forth between your fingers, and bring your bottom two over the top. And you just want to continue this for as long as you want your scarf to be, and I'll be right back. I've just finished making my scarf and I made it 56 inches long just like my other infinity scarf and if you want to measure yours you will need a ruler and for this part you will also need scissors. I don't want my infinity scarf to be twisted so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to go down the infinity scarf all the way until I get to the other end and then I'm going to bend it over and then we can close it up. So just do this. Now once you get to the other end, all of your loops are a bit crazy so you just want to pull out two for each finger. And all you want to know is that the slip knot strand one will be going on your index finger. So place your first two loops on your first finger. Place your next two loops on your second finger. Your next two on your third finger. And finally, your last two on your last finger. And you can just pick them randomly out at the end. Mine matched up pretty well. But now what you want to do is bring your bottom two loops over the top on all of your fingers. And push it down. And now to end this, what we're going to do is wrap our yarn in an e-wrap stitch around our first two fingers. Then we're going to bring our bottom two loops over the top on each finger. Then we're going to take the loop, the second loop, bring it back to the first loop. Bring the bottom loop over the top and bring this loop back to its finger. Now we're going to e-wrap our next finger. Bring the bottom two loops over the top. We're going to bring our second loop back to our first loop. Then we're going to bring our bottom loop over the top and bring it back to its finger. Wrap it around. Bring the bottom two over the top. Bring this loop back to the finger behind it. Bring the bottom loop over the top. And finally, to close this all off, I'm going to cut about six inches into my yarn. And I'm going to take that strand that I just cut and I'm going to place it into the loop that I've just made like that. And now you can pull it and it all comes together into one stitch there. And what you want to do now is you're going to work your way with this strand all the way through your yarn until you get to this one. So you can tie them together. So I'm just going to open up my loops and take my yarn and place it in through them. And I'm just going to tie mine together here. I'm tying mine four times so that it doesn't come apart. Now I'm just going to cut them short. Now when you pull on it again, the knot goes away and you are finished making your infinity scarf. And now I'm going to show you what mine looks like once it is on. This is what it looks like when it's done and on. And I hope this scarf was fun and easy for you to make. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And 
if you make some, I'd love to see them. My Instagram is craftlifeusa, so please tag me in a photo. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, pin it on Pinterest, and subscribe right here on YouTube. I hope you're living a craft life just like me. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!